Hey guys, happy Baby Name Monday. Welcome back to my channel. I'm SJ. Every Monday is Baby Name Monday in my world. <laughs> you think I could have come up with another list, but I have. <laughs> so this week is hipster, quirky boy names. So I absolutely love looking at boy names and they're quite hard, aren't they, to find kind of something that's quirky and unique. And to be a kind of hipster name, it has to be a bit ahead of the trend in coming up with new trends, brand new names, totally unranked names, and really quirky but cool. This video, I'm also going to be announcing the winner of last week's competition. Thank you so much everyone for entering to win an absolutely beautiful embroidered hoop, which I kept calling a loom last week. <laughs> I just got the word loom like stuck in my head, but it is a hoop and I have a beautiful one by Robin and Bloom. And I really wanted to gift one to you guys. Thank you everyone who entered. I will be doing that in just a second. First I wanted to let you know this video is in collaboration. I wanted to introduce you to the most lovely mum here on YouTube. So if you're watching this because you're pregnant, make sure to go and check out Laura Burns' channel. She has been a YouTuber I have watched for absolutely years. She has a little boy Harrison and she just recently had a baby girl called Everly. You have to go and see what her middle name is because it's one I've mentioned a few times on this channel. Laura is a full-time mum at the moment, staying at home and looking after Everly, so she's got tons of practical, helpful videos, but she also does the most honest day in the life stuff, which is always my total favourite to watch. Lastly, she did this really cool video, which was basically all the baby girl names she had on her phone when she went to pick, ended up picking Everly. And she's doing the same tonight with all the boy names that she had on her iPhones list. It's such a great idea for a video. You'll get tons of name ideas over there as well. So make sure to head over there, subscribe to Laura and watch that video and stick around on her channel for all things motherhood. So what I have done to pick the winner, we've had loads of entries. I've been writing them all down in my child's Shopkins notepad because you know, who needs decent stationery? We had 92 entries. Thank you so much everybody. So all your names are written down. You all have a number next to you. So Tara M, you're at number 18. Vicky Dawson's at 23. Lindsay Love's at 43. And who maybe and me at 92. So I'm gonna generate a random number on my computer now and whoever's number comes up, you are the winner of that personalized hoop. Okay, so I've got it on my program, generating a random number between one and 92 and the number is 80. So who is number 80? Stephanie's Pet Care. Oh, Stephanie. So yeah, I think you're quite new to my channel, you mentioned. So yes, congratulations. I will be in touch with you and do get in touch with me either here or on Instagram as well. And I will do another giveaway soon, guys. And thank you so, so much to Robin and Bloom for gifting that alongside me. She is a mum. She's a very talented mum working at home, setting up that business. So do make sure to head and subscribe to her on Instagram because you're supporting a very lovely new mum, making use of her talent and selling those gorgeous, gorgeous hoops to everybody. Woo Go mum. Okay, so my first hipster boy name is a really short, sweet, funky name using a high scrabble letter. So it hits lots of trends, and that is the name Van. Van is so cool, it is so hipster because it is totally unique and unusual and very almost like futuristic. So it was originally an old English surname, but it's very much died out now. But we are familiar with it in Dutch or in German. They have the von kind of as a of and from meaning within the surname. So it's still kind of there, but it's a very, very quirky choice. I really like it. I often think of Van Wilder, the movie. I should probably think of Van Morrison, the musician, if I was a bit cooler, but I think that's why it really sounds great as a first name. There is, of course, Vincent Van Gogh, the artist as well. So there's many things going for this that makes it very cultural, which is really great for a hipster name. Very common name in Vietnam, and it has two beautiful meanings. Either means cloud in one part of Vietnam, Vietnam and another part of Vietnam I was reading it is Sino-Vietnamese or Sino-Vietnamese does anybody know it means culture or literature so a name with just so many interesting things you know how much I love to research names this one just kept on giving I'm gonna give you one more fact because what was the funny one apparently I read that in middle French which I'm not sure what it is van referred to an old type of winnowing machine and winnowing is an agricultural machine that kind of separates wheat so if you want to separate the wheat from the chaff <laughs> so sorry, I um, had to go there. Um, yes, what do you think of the name Van? So recently people have been really into biblical names, names like Noah and Abe and names like that have been kind of hipster names that have now become a bit more mainstream. So a gorgeous one that's way off track, still unranked, is the name Barnabas. 
I really love the name Barnabas. My son Finn, his middle name is Barnaby, but I really liked the sound of Barnabas even a little bit more and it makes it a bit more edgy and quirky. And it was a really early Christian name. It was given to one of the disciples who was traveling with Paul the Apostle. Um, and it was also the name of a heavy metal Christian rock band. So if you are Christian, maybe you follow or know of Barnabas the band. For me, I just think it just sounds really, really lovely. I love long boy names like that. I think the B sound is really boyish and cute. Obviously, I love Barnaby because I've used it. And I think Barnabas just makes it a little much cuter name with a bit more quirk to it. Okay, so this next name I've had on baby name lists for so long but I'm just chucking it out there on this one I've just kind of been saving it because I love it so much it's a Finnish name and obviously Scandinavian names have been coming more popular over here but the Finnish names are incredible I'm gonna have to do a whole list because I just absolutely love them and the name I really love has the other trend of ending in an O like Hugo like Otto those names are hipster but pushing it even further you could go for Tapio I absolutely love this name. I love the look of it. I love the sound of it. I really like everything about it. It just sounds quirky, but cool and not hard to sort of pronounce or say or to spell. But the best thing about this name is that Tapio is the Finnish god of the forest. And that to me just sells it. I love all things naturey. I love all things kind of Midsummer Night's Dream fantasy-esque. And that just sounds beautiful I'm just imagine this little sprite i just think it is beautiful name it is funky it is cool pop it on your baby name list let me know in the comments below if you would so we've quite got into animal names as well recently as a trend and we're pushing it with names like bear becoming more hipster but now cheryl cole and liam payne who just split up today <laughs> have used it maybe it's just becoming a bit more mainstream people are looking for something more unusual last week i did anglo-saxon baby names and a name i missed off which i absolutely love is the name wolfric so it could be Wolfie for short, which is an animal name I love, but Wolfric is amazing and it means wolf power. So how cool is that for a boy? It's just so hipster, it's so edgy. I randomly met a Wolfric the other day. So last week I did a whole list of Anglo-Saxon baby names. I think it's gonna be a real trend. They're sort of hard and edgy, aren't they? And just really on trend with all this on TV stuff that we're liking at the moment. And Wolfric I think is one of the absolute best ones. I've always loved Wolfie as an animal nickname and this just takes it that little bit cooler and edgier I think. Okay so place names have been a trend for years and years and years and actually it's a very traditional way of naming a child but a really cool quirky place name is the name Lace. I really love it. This is also a Scottish name and you guys are really into Scottish names at the moment. There are some amazing ones and I will be doing a full Scottish names video on my channel very very soon so make sure you're subscribed for every baby name Monday. I really like the sound of Lace it is just very short, sweet, but a bit different with that TH ending. It might be a bit of Nate and Nathaniel, which are quite cool names, but takes it a little bit step further, I think. The other reason I really liked it is Leith takes its name from the Celtic word for water or wet, and water names are really in fashion as well. And I love anything to do with the water, being up by the lake, being by the sea, and it's just a beautiful meaning, very calming, quite spiritual, isn't it, for a baby boy. It's a very historical town. Lots happened in Leith, and there is tons of history that you can read up on if you like this name. How about the name Franz? This is the name I absolutely love. Frank is a hipster name that has been rising and is now quite mainstream at number 63. It's a kind of vintage name that's come back. But Franz is really, really different. It's originally a kind of Austrian name. So you may have heard of Franz Ferdinand, the rock band. They took this name from a racehorse who was named after an Austrian duke called Franz Ferdinand. So yeah, very long history there, but it's really interesting. And Franz Ferdinand was famous for being a assassinated actually um, but the name Franz is just a brilliant one and it actually means free which I think is again a beautiful name meaning. There's also the writer Franz Kafka who wrote a lot of kind of really interesting and important novels, dystopias and the trial and stuff that really gets debates going. So a very cool hipster writer and a very cool namesake for the name Franz. What do you think of it? We actually discussed this as a name because it was my husband's granddad's name which I only found out about when we were expecting our third baby and I already had Freddie and Finn and no way could I go for a Franz if it had been a baby boy it would have been way too much but I wish I'd known about it earlier I think it definitely would have featured in their names somewhere. Okay my wild card. <laughs> if you watch my videos you'll know I sometimes check in a wild card that I'm like I don't sure if I've just made this up and I absolutely love Dusk for a boy. We have Dawn which is such a popular name for girls so why not Dusk 
for a boy and dusk is such a magical time it's that beautiful light if you're into photography which is a very hipster instagrammy type thing to be into but isn't it a beautiful name for me it just feels very lazy very holiday-ish it's just a time of day when you get back together with your family and i think it has a beautiful romantic sound for a boy so i absolutely love dusk i think it would be beautiful what do you think is it too out there for you or do you love it but would never use it or do you love it and you will use it so occupational names is a massive trend. Things like Harper, Piper, all of those occupational names are really on trend. And what I absolutely love for boys is the name Fielding. It refers to somebody who lives or works in a field and I love those outdoorsy types of names. And I think it just is brilliant. It reminds me quite a lot of names like Wilder and those types of sounds for some reason. It just seems really friendly and approachable and sweet, but really cool for the rest of the life because it's got that kind of New York last name as first name, law firm, ad age type of sound doesn't it the author of tom jones was called henry fielding there's also helen fielding who wrote bridget james's diary which is one of my favorites i would name a baby after her um yeah so it's just a great sounding name with tons going for it in terms of being a hipster choice so gender neutral names is a massive trend and this is a male name that sounds almost feminine but it's a traditionally strong very well known male name in wales and that is the name emlyn so i really like it so i think as girls are kind of nicking boy names like James and Noah, why not use a slightly more feminine sounding? The Lynn is just what makes it sound feminine, I think, and together. But there was a very well-known footballer, Emlyn, Walter Hughes, <laughs> who is kind of a very famous footballer. So he could be a great namesake if we're trying to sell this name in as a very boyish name. And it's got a strong name meaning as well because it means rival, which is a little bit edgy, isn't it? Um, well, very edgy actually. But I loved the sound of the name Emlyn. And I just think that it sounds a bit like Emerson, which is a real hipster name as well, but it pushes it a little bit further. Boys are so rough and tumble, but they are also so gentle, caring, kind creatures. I have two boys and they couldn't be gentler and more creative and I think this would suit either one of them so let me know what you think of the name Emlyn. So those are my top hipster boy names. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget that Laura Byrne has an amazing list of boy names that she loves on her iPhone that were there when she just named her second baby. So go over there for a whole load of baby names. She's got very similar tastes to me actually. And I love her channel and I love Laura. She is so lovely. She's just one of those genuine people on or offline so do head there and don't forget to subscribe when you are there don't forget to subscribe for more baby name mondays and a huge congratulations again to stephanie who has won the absolutely gorgeous embroidered hoop from robin and bloom and keep watching out for more competitions i will do soon bye guys